last episode on Sailing Millennial Falcon. After almost a year of searching, we finally found the perfect place for a barbecue on the beach. So we got a few people together and sailed for Sandy Island off the coast of Karaoku, where after an amusing incident with a boat hook, we managed to pick up a mooring for the evening. A strong swell prevented us from going ashore the first night. However, the following day, we set up camp and explored the island above and below the water. After filling up on coconuts and grilled meats, we headed off the following morning on a leisurely sail to St George's Bay on the main island of Grenada. We planned to have the boat hauled out whilst in Grenada, so we were on the lookout for materials and equipment that we would need for our repairs. We had also hoped to track down solar panels, a Wi-Fi antenna and a DC electric motor whilst in town. It is hot as... It's hot. <laughs> it's very hot today. It's humid. It's always humid. We're on the equator, but it's hot. It's like a middle of the day. It's one o'clock or something. And it's actually managed to blow up our dinghy a bit more than it usually was before. Having done some window shopping at Budget Marine, we caught up with Josh and Nani to go and explore the town in St George's. Three hundred and fifty feet long. East and west side of the town. Engineering milestone for the 19th century of the island. 1894. There we go. So we've just been walking down the street and it's so hot. We are going to go and get some sundaes and not get hit by a car. I just got the biggest ice cream serving of my life. It's Awful. such a tub. Yep. Yeah, and For with you that's not going to last five seconds because oh, no. you're going to let the it slowest, melt away. I'm sure I've told you before, I'm like the slowest ice cream eater in the world. But, oh, this is Guinness flavour. How cool is that? I've never seen that before. I think of everything. You did what? Because I had my hat on, which is now gone to the back. I had my hat on and I couldn't see cars around this general area and so I walked out into the street. And, the and car what beat happened? Me. Yes. And Adam yelled across the street from me like a mean person, a mean parent. What has Adam done to you now? He's made me haul the anchors up, both anchors pop them back down again, and then go diving on the anchor. You all know how much I dislike diving on the anchor, especially when the sun is almost about to set too. And I swear something bit me, I swear it. Um, but no, apparently we were dragging. Came back from the town, and Adam sat down for about five minutes and was like, we're dragging, we're dragging. And for some reason, the last two months have just been like a constant every single night of I think we're dragging are we dragging are we not dragging maybe we're dragging maybe we're not dragging who knows are we dragging maybe I should go check the anchor and so I was just like okay anchors up we're gonna go somewhere that's actually you know that we know that we are anchored that we know we're gonna be safe for a few nights at least and how many times this week has Adam been. done this task yeah the reason why I did it this time is because Adam has done it every single time for last uh, four weeks maybe because our motor just keeps breaking down in our windlass we finally bit the no we are going to bite the bullet and we're going to buy a new windlass because we feel like there's no more resurrecting of it so we just need to find somewhere on Grenada that actually sells a windlass and we're gonna get that and for a reasonable price for a reasonable price um, it's, it's just not working anymore having to haul up two anchors because we don't feel safe with just the CQR um, and so we don't feel safe just with um, two anchors. Yeah. Ugh. I'm tired and I want to go and I want my beer. <laughs> Give me my beer. <laughs> and the morning ritual starts again. In he goes, yet again. <laughs> He's talking <laughs> to the camera and I'm like answering him like, yep, yep. Yep, I know that, yes. So, yeah. And then uh, I'm just realising that he's actually talking to the camera. Duh, we're not having a two-sided conversation. Ooh, we didn't drag an anchor for once. <laughs> the next day, we decided to push a little further into the island on the hunt for a residential solar panel supplier and an electric motor. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
is our house. This hill is ridiculous. Oh. Where's the skateboard when you need one? I don't quite think this footage will actually capture how high, Shoot how down, steep the hill is. Whew. This is crazy. So we, uh, we struck out there, it's all um, three phase AC motors, which is fair enough because they repair drills and things like that, or, or AC plug-in motors. So um, we got a recommendation for Grenade and Auto, which is somewhere, Kiara knows where. So we'll go and check them out later or maybe give them a call once I figure out what I really need because they sell them new. So we're getting closer, maybe. Oh, so in case you can't tell by <laughs> the sweat dripping off of us. It is very, very hot here. It is stonking hot today. Ooh. So we just stopped off at a uh, mini mart for some drinks and they had this lovely woman serving on the counter. And she said that uh, at the back they serve food. Not meant to really be a restaurant. Ooh, okay. um, but she said they have beautiful views and they're cooking the country's local National dish. dish. Yes, which I've forgotten um, what the name is. Onka? 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 Yeah. Onka? So, Start with an O. I'll look at We'll subtitle it in. Yeah. So the plan is we're going to head back there for lunch because she was really, really lovely. And we'll try the national dish. And I'm going to have to stop filming now because it's a bit Uh, we found a place that sells electric motors, which is a huge step in the right direction. Um, but we don't know if they sell 12 volt, three horsepower motors yet. I saw a lot of one horsepower, 220 volt motors, but the lady at the counter is going to do some, make some calls and uh, get back to us. So windy. We'll see how we go. We're kicking goals, sort of. Kicking points. From there, with food on the brain, we hoofed it back up the hill for our lunch date. And look at these views. Made a little friend, Kiara. Mm, I think that the friend just wants our food. Maybe. But how gorgeous is that? You're a handsome little person, aren't you? We already decided that this would be the perfect size for a boat dog. I agree. Even though we're both like bigger dogs, it's good. Maybe. Good boat dog size. Satisfied? No, I'm stuffed to the I'm stuffed to up to here. There's food coming out my eyeballs. <laughs> that was so good. I cannot even put together words. That was so so good. So nice. Mm. It's like um real slow cooked uh, pork, chicken, breadfruit, uh, breadfruit, plantain. plantain. I think some kind of like spinachy thing and coconut milk will mix with it. Oh, so good. You may recall we were also on the hunt for residential solar panels. As the saying goes, ask and you shall receive. Now, the keen among you may have already spotted the massive residential solar project going on below. I did too. Do you, well, how many watts are they? 250. 250. Three, 350. Yeah. How much for a one? Sorry? How much you need? Just one. 600. 600 EC for 350. <laughs> 350 watts. Yeah? <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. No, no, that's okay. I'll give you a card. Awesome. Chicken goals. 300 watts. 600 EC. That's way better than the Lin guy. They seem like really, really nice guys. Freaking awesome. I mean, Really awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so good. We're just I yelling just at some his, I just missed his little happy dance. <laughs> yes. Just yelling at some guy on the roof, and now we're going from 150 watts for 650 EC to 350 watts for 600 EC. Residential panels. I don't know how many volts they are, but we'll get the MPP <laughs> charger that'll run. Oh, so good. So good. We are celebrating. We had a we've kicking goals left and right today. We okay. got the Wi-Fi antenna, we found the solar panels that are gonna do the, the job Wi-Fi antenna? For less than What's it called Adam? 
No, I'm not saying that. No, what's it called? I'm not it. It's called Adam. Three times I'm Please not saying tell it. us. It's called Pretty Fly for a Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> that was his lamest bad boy extreme. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got the Wi Fi antenna, we got the solar panels, we haven't bought them yet, but it's looking good. We, uh, we made some headway in the electric motor saga. Okay. And now we're having beers. First round is almost down, they're icy cold, and it's too freaking hot to not have another round. <laughs> or two. Or two, or three. <laughs> So we've done some shopping and now we're just going to head back home, have some nachos for dinner. These fools, trying to race. Starboard! Starboard! We're back on land, um, well my second time today. Did the washing, sun's finally come out so the washing is now drying back on the boat. And we are on land, this time go and try and find some solar panels. So um, as a follow up to the person who gave us his card yesterday after we were shouting him on the street to ask about his solar panels. Um, we called him up and he said that he can give us uh, for a 190 watt panel will be 500 DC. So that's about the equivalent of um, 250 Australian or I think maybe about 200 US. So that's for um, yeah 190 watt panels. So we're going on to we're going to go up now and speak to him. He's um, in a village somewhere around here, um, and we're going to pick up two panels and also a charge controller as well. MPPT charge controller that can handle the two panels. It's going to be a hefty lug back down the hill, back to the dinghy. Just waiting for the, uh, the manager to turn up because we're uh, doing a bit of dealing, De wheeling and dealing, so hopefully we can get a good price. Um, he agreed to 500 this morning. I don't know whether that's before tax or after tax, but uh, yeah, he's coming down. Um, should be two minutes away. Must live around the corner or something. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, You're ever in Grenada? and you're in St. George's Bay, come see these guys. We'll put the link in the description of the bio. They're doing us a solid for two 190 watt panels and they are the best place on the island to get solar panels, without a doubt. The marine guys will charge you twice what they're charging for half as much, so check them out. These are very big solar panels. <laughs> it's gonna take a very long time getting down the hill. We did 100 meters, we've only got 500 to go and then a boat ride. Whoa. Decent sized panel though. Yeah. 250 like, Australian like dollars each. That's me. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. This is so good. Super cheap. 190 hey. watts for peanuts. That's like. We paid Australian what Island Marine was charging in US dollars. For less, less, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, for, for, for less smaller watts. panels. Yeah. 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 All we right. did well. Let's carry on. Next 100 meters, go. We have some solar panels. And a charge controller. And a charge controller. And no hands to do anything with presently. Ugh. And no money in the whole world left for anything. We're eating beans and rice again, baby. Yep. Beans and rice. We might very well be able to solar cook our beans and rice. Yeah, we have enough solar panels, <laughs> that's for sure. So, what's our first tour of the day, Adam? Uh, I'm just having a squeeze at the new MPPT 45 amp solar controller. It's huge. It's very hefty, so I'll, uh, I'll do some pondering and and plan out where the cable is going to go and where that's going to live i kind of know where that's going to live um and we'll put the panels up on the roof and make sure they have clearance uh and then run the cables through and install everything properly um yeah i'm just sussing out the controller and what it needs if it has any special needs first um we left the boys again today we lowered the roof of the bimini just to fit the solar panels on. However, when we uh, measured up the solar panels, we realized that we wouldn't actually be able to put them on with the nuts and bolts that we have. So, Lani and I are going into town. I am on a mission to go and find some rivet bolts, which um, I had to Google what the hell they are and how they work so that we could actually use some of them. And uh, we are also going to do a little bit of a wash and things like that. But yeah, mainly just to get um, things from the hardware store. Then we're going to go drop them back to the guys. Bubba fed. <laughs> Bubba Bird! Bubba Bird! You're gonna scream that all the time. I don't know. <laughs> Josh is here. Bubba this is inevitably how our conversation's ending up going. That they all somehow relate to Star Wars because these guys are bigger fans than we are in Star Wars. Lara, uh, this is Adam and Josh's efforts at the end of the day. We're getting 20 amps at 2 pm. I dare say we'll get closer to 30 at high noon. Yeah! All of the power. Going on, busy bee. So after much trial and error, we're uh, trying to paint this wall white. Uh, finally bought a primer to put underneath the wood, 
and then we're gonna paint it white again and hopefully none of the wood should, sh should come through and we will have a lot of brighter mm, hopefully shortly meanwhile while i'm painting adam is putting together the finishing touches on the solar panels that we've just installed i'm just running the wire through running the wire through nice little hidey holes back to the controller so that it's uh neat and properly installed very much <sighs> unlike our bedroom at the moment <laughs> this is our new charge controller Trying to think of all of the devices that we might possibly ever need to charge in the world now that we actually have some power going in. <laughs> the following morning, in light of recent breakages, it was decided that Kiara would go aloft and inspect and clean the rigging. Okay, first shrouds, and this is them clean. While I'm cleaning and, uh, and working my ass off here, Adam, <laughs> yep, really working hard down there. <laughs> oh, the burden of supervision. Heavy one. Yep. Back filming more politics. <laughs> we'll admit, I was feeling a bit sick up there. <laughs> I'm glad to be back down on semi solid ground on the boat. Um, yeah, it's not looking too bad. Uh, yeah, there's oh look, nothing certainly nothing is gonna break in the next six months to a year, I think. Uh, can I take that to the bank? Uh, well I'll have a look at the footage. With renewed confidence in our rigging, we decided to go ashore for a burger and one last lap of the town. Okay, we didn't find hamburgers, but we did find ice cream. In fact I knew exactly where the ice cream was and I headed uh, a beeline directly for customer. the ice cream. This was her plan all along. She never <laughs> wanted a burger. At all. She just wanted ice cream. She's like, we'll go get burgers, Adam. Burgers and beers, Adam. Yeah, it's gonna totally. be great. Come on. Next minute. Oh, I can't really find a burger place. So, but there's ice cream. I just we have might, some ice cream. We might still get lucky and find a beer place. Meanwhile, that could I'm be on the agenda. Of water. Who doesn't feel like ice cream? Adam's like, it's too hot for ice cream. Well, I'm really dehydrated. Since when is that I'm really a thing? thirsty, and it's just, you know, when you got cream in your mouth and you're really thirsty and it okay. just makes you more thirsty. All right, I'm getting ice cream soup, so no, I'm, gonna have to put the, I'm gonna have to put the video down now.